If you've been following along, I've been sharing videos about our summer spent in the Southwest. We've journeyed through Santa Fe, hiked and hippie dipped in Pagosa Springs, and then headed to Moab. In our last video, we shared how to spend a day in Canyonlands, but now I wanna show y'all two epic places to visit in Moab that are outside the national parks, and both are dog and kid friendly. All right, guys, we're here at Mill Creek Trailhead. This is a 1.8 out and back hike. We're doing this because it's 107 degrees in Moab in July. And this is one of the only trails that I could find that had water access, water crossings. There's a waterfall at the end. Parking lot is relatively full. Um, it's about four o'clock on a Monday. But again, I knew this would be a pretty popular hike because it is one of the only ones that I found um, on Google that, you know, have water. So we're gonna do this with the kiddos, hopefully hang out here for a couple hours while it cools off, but I can't wait to show you guys around. I've seen this all over Instagram and it looks like a really fun place to just swim and hang out to beat the heat. All right, we stopped at the famous Milts for some burgers and some milkshakes. We stopped here right next to Rotary Park to let the kids run around. What I really liked about this park is that they have a playground, but they also have an area with musical instruments like xylophones of different sizes. So we're gonna go over there and check that out once we're done eating. But first things first, we're gonna eat our burgers. Good morning from the Corona Arch Trailhead. We are here right at like 6.15 a.m. We were trying to beat the heat by getting here a little bit early. We weren't the only ones with this idea. It's already 75 degrees at 6.15. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. The sun is coming up and I can't wait to see the Corona Arch. We didn't get to see this last time we were here. So this will be a treat for all of us.
The hike to Corona Arch is about three miles round trip and rated as moderate. The hike crosses open slick rock, taking you into the Bootlegger Canyon. You'll climb steps carved into the sandstone and you'll be able to use the cable to help you up. Then you'll see a ladder by a twisted juniper tree. Once you've climbed the ladder, you'll actually see Bowtie Arch right in front of you. Bowtie Arch is a pothole type arch located high on the cliff above the trail. From Bowtie, you'll continue on to the massive Corona Arch. The arch opening measures 140 feet across and 105 feet high. Make sure you take a minute to stand under the arch and look up to truly get a feel for its size. We are finally there at the Corona Arch. It's super cool. We saw some dinosaur dogs. Well, I'm stepping on some right now. And those black things digging up are dinosaurs. Yes. And so far, Corona Arch has been amazing. We climbed up this ladder and we saw like this. Uh, it was like a really cool treat, and we're finally at Corona Arch. Did you know that people used to climb up that arch, and they used to they used to take a bungee rope, and they just jumped, and they were like swinging from the bottom. It was really cool. Wish we could do that. But they don't they don't allow it anymore. But at least we're finally at Corona Arch. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye. All right, we made it to the Corona Arch. We're having a little snack break because we have to head back soon. But this was such an awesome hike. I'm so glad that we decided to get up early and do this. Before it got too hot, we got so sweaty anyway. Sienna looks like she completely peed on herself. Did you guys like this hike? I literally loved it. Filme. Da ist er ja, der Schisse.